as the president of the NAACP New Jersey State Conference to uh, award the legislator of the year, to award the branch of the year, and then ultimately to give the president's award. We will begin with the legislator of the year. This individual currently serves as deputy majority leader and is vice chair of the Assembly Consumer Affairs Committee, is a member of the Assembly Budget Committee, the Assembly Commerce and Economic Development Committee, the Joint Committee on Public Schools and the Joint Committee on Economic Justice and Equal Employment. This individual also serves as a commissioner on the state of New Jersey Martin Luther King Jr. Commission, the Amistad Commission, and is co-vice chair of the New Jersey Legislative Black Caucus. This individual continues to be a big advocate in the areas of social and economic justice and has sponsored several pieces of legislation that were currently or recently signed into law, including the following. The law uh, A3394, the Laura, Laura Wooten's law, which requires civic instruction in middle school. A3641 requires implicit bias and culture diversity training materials for law enforcement officers. A4312 regulates use of body cameras worn by law enforcement officers. A4315 designates as state and public holiday, third Friday in June as Juneteenth Day. Uh, A4663 creates two-year uh, restorative and transformative justice for youths and communities pilot program. A5345 expands eligibility under New Jersey Earned Income Tax Credit Program to allow taxpayers who are at least 18 years of age or older to qualify for modified benefits. We are honored to recognize and award Assemblywoman Verlina Reynolds Jackson as a legislator of the year. She is a true champion of justice. We thank her for her leadership and ongoing support of issues that are relevant to black people. She has a deep understanding of the issues and has championed meaningful legislation. And on a personal note, she's a fellow Trentonian. Join me in saying congratulations and thank you, thank you, thank you to Assemblywoman Verlina Reynolds Jackson. Assemblywoman? I am truly, truly humbled um, to be receiving the Legislator of the Year Award. And I just wanna uh, thank you. Um, I, I still consider myself new to the legislature, but um, I, I guess I have a lot of experience. And so I'm going to kick that uh, um, shyness away and, and go ahead and, and, and walk in this this um, this honor today. Um, I, I consider myself a Christian public servant. I'm a people connector. Uh, I bridge people together and resources. Um, my mom is on her way here and I was telling her this morning, I said, you know, it's online. I, I thought she was kind of zoomed out. She said, no, 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 I'm coming over. But in my mind, all I could think about is, you know, the children are our future. And yes, I'm singing the Whitney Houston song in my head. And, and this is what I think about all the time when I'm out there, whether I'm advocating for our youth, whether I'm advocating for our seniors, for affordable health care. If I'm talking about, you know, ch uh, uh, children coming home from incarceration, um, how do we give them a fresh start? How do we support them going forward? How do we support businesses and capital, right? We need capital to be able to do those things. I think about moms and maternal health care and what we need to do better here in the city of Trenton and throughout the state of New Jersey. I think about affordable housing. I think about how we can use that to help our families in, in growing fiscally more uh, sound a as, a, as, a, as a family. I think about fighting for our voting rights. Um, mm -hmm. You look across the country and you see all the different things that are happening there. We've done a few things right in New Jersey. We have early voting. Um, I, I'm so thankful to you, Richard Smith, for all of your advocacy. And I gotta give a special shout out to my Trenton branch with Les Simeon and all the work that they're doing um, around supporting uh, 
early voting, vote by mail, and just making sure that we get to the polls. We know that they look at data, they use the data all the time, either to support us or make it against us. And so we need to make sure that we vote every single time. And we're blessed in New Jersey. We have an election every six months. So we have one coming up and we know how important it is to exercise our votes. And so I'm sure you're out there as well as making sure everybody has access to it. We still have some issues. We're not done yet. And then I'm going to wrap it up. We need to limit law enforcement in our voting locations. The yes. bill did not pass, but we still need your support. So I'm going to end it there. And I just want to say thank you again for recognizing all the hard work that um, I'm doing out there uh, for the state of New Jersey and to better our people. Let's continue to make to keep the dream alive. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It is with great pleasure that as the president of the NAACP New Jersey State Conference that I have the honor um, to give this award. I honor this branch for its hard work and dedication and uplifting the black community in their catchment area. This brother consistently communicates with me, informing me of the work, the hard work that they're doing each and every day. When I ask for legislators to be called, the calls are made. I've witnessed their work on law enforcement reform, COVID-19 education, being a conduit in aiding our folks getting tested for COVID and receiving the COVID-19 vaccine, and sharing that work with the NAACP national president on a call that I was on with them. They're hosting youth mental health seminars, the fighting for voting rights. Uh, they are helping with book bag giveaways, give away more than 400 book bags to children in their catchment area, giving out scholarships, hosting virtual conversations on biased crimes, and keeping a hedge of protection around our very own black sheriff, Anthony Curitan. Join me in congratulating President Junius Jeff Carter and the NAACP Bergen County branch as the branch of the year. Congratulations, Junius, and keep up the good work, dear brother. Thank you very much. Um, in Bergen County, we like to call ourselves a little engine that could. We're not the biggest branch in the state, but we want to stay the busiest. Um, with us, it's not me, it's we. And I have a lot of good people who not only support me, but support the NAACP and are always coming up with ideas um, to do things. And we just continue to be blessed. Um, and you're right, Anthony Curitan was my predecessor and we try to cover him in anything uh, that happens because we're only 5% of the county. We're the biggest county in the state, but we're 5%. So one, thank you for your support because I call on you a lot and say, you know, I'm trying to do this, how can I do it? And I appreciate your wisdom for having um, done it. So uh, thank the state for awarding us with this and we're just gonna keep going and going and going. And God bless the NAACB and long live it for another um, 112 plus years. Thank you, good brother. My secretary who is on the men, thank God and I miss her dearly uh, at this event has asked me to uh, introduce the Rosa Parks Award. And I don't really think I need to say too much about this individual because everybody who's on this call know who she is, the work that she's done. Uh, and to be able to put up with that guy I call my first vice president is, is, is room enough for an award in itself. But I would like to say congratulations and thank you so much for all that you do for the New Brunswick branch, for the New Jersey State Conference, for walking side by side with your husband, always out there representing and doing, doing great things. I want to congratulate Deborah Morgan as the Rosa Parks Award recipient by way of our state secretary, uh, Vivian Dart. So uh, Deb, congratulations, uh, God bless you. And uh, would you like to say a couple words to the body? Wow. <laughs> congratulations thank you thank you very much and thank you to my 
New Jersey NACP family and to my home branch and to uh, Vivian Darks. I appreciate all of you. It's a, it's a real pleasure to receive this award. Thank you so much. I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> well, you deserve it. Thank you. Many blessings you too. to everyone. Thank you. We're in this together. Yes, without a doubt, without a doubt. And last but not least, um, I give out the President's Award. And I was asked if I take nominations, and I normally don't. But sometimes when I have an individual in mind, uh, God has a way of making something happen um, to validate the decision that I'm about to make. And in this particular instance, that happened. Um, this individual, someone reached out and, and, and uh, made a, a nomination. And it was funny because it was the individual I was thinking about giving the award to. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm going to read it because it was written perfectly. And um, I'm hoping that this individual is on the phone. This individual's efforts have led to numerous press coverages for the organization. He's orchestrated beneficial meetings with representatives from the Attorney General's office. He's spoken at rallies throughout the state, representing me from time to time. He's penned various press releases and also some op-eds showcasing our advocacy to diverse audiences. He was featured on ABC's Nightline with Brian Pitts in his role with the Newark Civilian Complaint Review Board, where he serves as chairman as a representative of the NAACP. I'm proud to present this year's President's Award to none other than our criminal justice reform chairman, Mr. Rick Robinson from the Newark, New Jersey NAACP branch. Rick, are you there? Yes, All right, I am there you here. Are. And, um, you look oh, kind of good there, man. You you know, you just made my day. And um, as I text you yesterday, um, I love you and I love the New, New Jersey NAACP. So I want to thank you for this award, sir. You have really touched my heart along with all the people I work with. Uh, Marcus is outstanding and all the other different people we have in different committees. Um, I love you all. And um, I'm, I'm actually tearing up right now. I don't want y'all to see that because y'all so used to, used to see me in a different way. <laughs> But you have really shocked me, um, Smith. And uh, listen, um, I am very fortunate to uh, speak to you. And when you can't make it, speak on your behalf. And um, I often tell Mark this all the time. Um, I love my two presidents, President Richard Smith and President Deborah Smith Gregory. And I point to media and press. If you have a, a comment that you want from our organization, you need to check with them first. And um, again, I am deeply honored. And uh, excuse me if I hear well, but you guys are not going to see it. So <laughs> I love you, Richard. You know that. And um, thank you so much. But well, we love you back, brother. Thank you, man, for all your hard work. Thank you. So I, I'm sorry, Rick. I just got to say, congratulations, Chairman. Well deserved. Thank you, there, brother Marcus. And you know, we 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 all we have a continued fight. You know, uh, we're always in the trenches. Um, I think the main thing is that we have the trust of our esteemed president, President Smith. And for me in Newark, President Deborah Smith Gregory, so I am really, really honored. And again, thank you, Chairman Sibley. I, I really appreciate this. Awesome. Thank I'm you, going Dad. to go cry for five minutes and I'm back. <laughs> All right. <laughs>